Tamara Basic Tees here, and today I'm going to show you how to cut out binding or piping with a rotary cutter and a repairable mat. My favorite fabric for binding is Rochelle. It's spelled R-A-S-C-H-E-L. And if you type it in somewhere, spell check is going to tell you that it's spelled wrong. Google Rochelle and see what you can find. Currently, I'm looking for a sponsor that sells fabric online. If you're interested, contact me. Anybody that I've reached out to so far has not showed any interest. So just Google Rochelle. This is a piece of Rochelle fabric that I have pre-cut out for my binding. I usually make it 43 inches long and then I just cut off that piece if I want a smaller piece. Now I folded this in half. When I very first started cutting out binding, I would cut it through the whole entire strip and it would made it less even. So I had an employee that worked for me that ended up folding the binding in half. So there's a fold here and I line up the line on where I wanna cut. If you take a look, you can see where I marked with a Sharpie how wide I want my binding pieces to be. That way I don't have to look for the measurements. They're already there for me every time. So there's all these Sharpie marks all the way down my board. So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna line it up on my first Sharpie mark on this side. And I've also got those Sharpie marks on the other side over here. And I'm just gonna line those up, make sure that it's all the way to the edge. Usually when it's binding and you fold it in a little bit, you, you can repair mistakes and just hide them. So I've got my ruler on both sides where the mark is. And I'm just gonna grab my rotary cutter and I'm gonna hold with my left hand, depending on your right-handed or left-handed, and I'm gonna cut all the way through. And then I end up going to the next Sharpie mark, one more up, and then I do the same thing. I use a rotary cutter and go all the way through. So I folded it. So when you keep on going, make sure that the fabric is flat because It'll make buck buckles or weird cuts if you don't. So I'm gonna go to the next Sharpie mark. And then I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and I'm gonna cut it all the way through. Now I tend to lose control the farther up I go. So I usually probably only go to about 11 inches, but you might have longer arms than I have, or you might be taller. So you might be able to do it a little bit farther back and keep on going. So when you're done with that, you're just gonna get rid of the ruler and the rotary cutter and you should have a bunch of long binding pieces. So I wanted to talk about the width that I do it also. It is one and three eighths inch. Another thing I wanna mention is when you cut it, you need to make sure that it's stretchy the correct way. Because with this Rochelle, it's not stretchy the other way. It's just stretchy this way. And you can make your binding pieces as big as you want them to be. I did have somebody ask about making it super, super narrow. But keep in mind that you're going to want to fold that in and you're going to hide this fabric. So even if you want it narrow, you're going to have to have enough fabric to fold it inside to seal that stitch. I hope you found this video educational. If you like what I'm dishing out, go ahead and subscribe. You can check me out at basictees.com where I sell my sexy sewing patterns. And until next time, stay sexy. Bye.